welcome back to another video um so today i've got my mama here yes that's my mom <laughs> not my Hi. sister that's my mom um they came to visit my mom and dad so decided to get them for well, her into a video she doesn't know what the video is about so mom welcome to my channel thank you and hi everyone hi introduce yourself okay my name is lydia that's all they need to know her name is lydia they don't need to know your last name <laughs> <laughs> all right if you say so <laughs> this is my mama lydia like i said before um so today yeah i wanted to so today well yesterday actually was mother's day in london and yeah. africa i think we live in Australia, so our Mother's Day is different. It's in September. Mm. Yeah. Our Mother's Day is in, I think, is it in September or May? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I see the advert when it comes on. I know it's Mother's Day. Anyways, um, our Mother's Day is totally different from the rest of the world. But it gave me an idea to do this video today with you. So perfect timing. So the video today, when I was pregnant with my first, right, with my son, my husband wasn't around it was my mom that was my support in the labor room so today I just wanted to ask my mom a few questions to how it was for her being in the labor room with her only child only daughter and seeing what it was like you know to, to see me in that state and being you know yeah having a baby so mom, my first question is going to be, first, when I told you I was pregnant, what was your reaction? Like, how did you feel when I told you I was pregnant? Um, of course I was happy, but then within me I have this mixed feeling, mm. because you were in uni, doing what, your second, your second year? year? Second, yeah, year. second year. So that got into me like, I'm happy that you're pregnant, but what's going to happen with schooling? So you thought I would not be able to finish? Yes, because when everybody is different. Sometimes when some people are pregnant, mm. from week one, one <laughs> or week two, <laughs> until the end of that pregnancy, they got sick. Is that what it was for you? you were that it, yes. During my I can't smell, pregnancy. certain things I can't, I can't stand the smell. I feel sick, I have to get some kind of drink. Well, when I was pregnant with you, I don't drink water. All I drink is small Tina. Tina? <laughs> and then Tina came. Yes. So, yeah, so that was my fear. But you actually make me proud, if I should say that. So, yeah, like she said, I was in my second year of uni and it was not easy. If you guys watched my previous video, um, I think two videos ago, I said that, that um, it was hard being pregnant and going to uni because I had to travel about an hour, three days a week, and it was not easy. But anyways, we got there. So, how was it like being in the labor room with me? Like... Seeing, for example, like when I didn't go into labor by myself, I was induced, right? Mm -hmm. But when that time actually came, when um, I started laboring, how did it? How how did you feel? Hmm. Good question. Um, me being with you in the labor room was actually a dream come true. Really? Yes, because I was going to have my first grandchild, and I'm in that that moment with you mm. then to your question how do i feel i was anxious I, I, I it was everything within me especially when you we went there the first day yeah and then hours and hours and hours and i was like oh Yes, I was 14 hours in labor with my son. It was very scary for me. That was the scary part. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Christian. All I can do is pray and see what, you know, 
Because since I was God, induced, God can do for me. The first and day you were not there, you just came, brought me to the hospital, and then you had to leave. leave yes. And then you came back the next day. Yeah. Um, where I had been transferred to the labor ward. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then you could be in there with me. Mm. Um, so I remember when um, when I started pushing, mm. and then I got tired. At one point, and I was like, no, I can't do it anymore. Because yeah, I've been in labor you, for you can't say that. Yeah, because I've been in labor for fourteen hours mm. already, and I was tired. And I, you know, I was trying to be strong. Um, with I had not had much to eat. Yeah. Obviously, you know when you, you know when you get on that bed, like, they tell you you can't eat anymore because of, I think because they they don't want you to pull while you're pushing. I don't know why, but anyways, um, so I was tired. So I remember saying, I can't do it anymore, like, I want, I want a C-section. Mm -hmm. And then my mom was like, no, don't say that. Don't say yeah, that, I'm trying. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I know you're a strong woman, so you can do it. And you really did it. And it was you know? not, it was really not, um, not easy. So how did you feel when, um, when, like at one point, I, I remember because I closed my legs and I was like, I'm tired of pushing, then I closed my legs and the nurse was like, no, 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 no. You can't, you know, you can't do that. You have to keep going, the baby's head is out. Yeah. And I could hear my mom saying, look, I can see the baby's head, I can see the baby's head. But then at one point, I realized that you left me, you went to the bathroom. I remember that you went into the bathroom and I personally I felt like maybe it was getting too much for you like maybe you were getting emotional that because that's when I said I can't do it anymore I was tired and I was refusing to push and I was just tired okay yeah I remember that part when yeah when I walk away from you yeah because the other nurse called for someone to come in so I walked away and like every mother will do I just walk away and have a quiet time to myself for a minute and then I walk back and then the other nurse walked in and said, now let's go. And as soon as she says that, you I just push. push. Honestly, you can't feel when yes. they tell you to so push. You, can't, you don't know what you're doing. When you push and then she says she's coming and then I look and say, yes, it's out. So push, 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 push and I start rubbing your shoulder. That's when the baby came out. And then the baby came out. So yeah. how did you feel when you saw Masala came for the first time? I'm excited. I know I was blessed at that time. Because that moment, you know, it's not everybody that can stand the moment. But I was there with you. And um, I was there with you and you know it happens. And your husband wasn't here. So as soon as the baby came in, instead of me trying to, you know, be happy and help my grandchild, the first thing I did was to call your husband. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he has been trying to call during the process, but I refused to pick the call because I was just waiting to give him the good news. Mm. So as soon as the baby popped out, I said, yeah, now I have to call. So as they were cleaning the baby, I call him, and you look at him, you look where you couldn't talk to him much at that time. Mm -hmm. So I said, we'll call you back. So yeah. he was all excited there. I was here excited. In fact, at one point I cried. When they give the baby to me, look at him, I was like, oh my God, by that, by then your dad was on his way coming. Yeah, your baby have a baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now your baby has you see I'm right here, I'm in the in the lift. So he just get off the lift. He too walked in, held the baby, and we know our blessing because we know God already blessed us with certain things. And when we held our grandchild, we know our blessing was complete. Mm -hmm. It was complete because we know you're going through uni, and we know by the grace of God you will finish it. Um, you already have your baby. I was married. You, you're already married. So the blessing was just 
was just complete for me because it was blessing after blessing after blessing. You know? Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. And 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 I was not going to. Yes, it was hard completing uni while I was pregnant because there are days where you don't want to get out of bed. Yeah, you're so that, you're so exactly tired. That was my fear because, because your you school know, was away from you know from every from out. It was in Sydney. It was yeah, like it was, it was an hour and a half. It's not like you can drive there. You have to yeah, get, get the, the train. train. Yeah. So you pick up the train. The train drop you off and then I have to take a tram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so with pregnancy it's really hard. So yeah. when that happened, you know, I was just praying for God to give you the strength to go through it and finish and you did. You make us and God you make us proud. honestly because I was determined, like I said to myself, even me myself, when I found out I was pregnant, that was the first fear that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm like already like I had wasted almost two years already. Okay, so I said to myself that I was not going to let this stop me from completing because mm. I was determined to complete whether I was pregnant or not. So I had said that to myself and I kept saying it to myself every day. Every time I woke up in pain or I was tired or whatever, I still said to myself, no, I promised myself that I was going to continue mm. and I was going to finish at the time that I was supposed to finish. So that was what kept me going. And I had promised that I was going to make you guys proud. Yeah, so I, I was it. not going to disappoint you guys. Mm. So I kept going every day. That's what kept me going every day. And plus, you guys are supportive. Like, you guys have always been supportive of everything that I do. Mm. Yeah. So the last thing that I wanted to do was to disappoint, you know, or have, you know, a, a, a something that is such a happy moment, you know, become somewhat of a of a regret not like not a regret but like something that you look, yeah that, that you look at and say you know because i had a baby so i couldn't know i i, I wanted it all and yeah, anybody really that knows me all. knows that i'm very determined unless i don't want to do it but if i really want to do it i go for it yes i go for it fully so that was it for me anyways um well that was all i just wanted to ask my mom those few questions what it was like to witness her baby having a baby it was a very long process 14 hours and she was there the whole time she didn't want to leave me yeah um and i want to thank her for that like i said yeah you make me proud because when i was having my first born it was only me in the well back back home you don't have no, no, people here, else in there. you know even at one point you see what what you went through is similar thing you just bring me back bring my memories back because mm. i have a long pain also you know when i was having my baby like the first one i almost <laughs> i almost <laughs> cut your dad's head <laughs> because the nurse said can you come in and talk to her so maybe at least well, not that was in the waiting room, not in the labor room. Yeah, but so, you were laboring at that time. Yes, you were going through the pain. Yes. Yes. So he just put his head like he was going to talk to me, and like just boom, slammed the door. Slammed. And then, <laughs> and then he, he left, and he will go, and then he will come back. He said, "No, no good news yet, yet, but it's okay. He will be, she will be fine." And then he will go again, and my mother-in-law, God bless. Her wherever well she's in heaven now god bless her she was there my mom and my sister they were out there in the waiting room doing their own thing so you know that bring my memories back to what i went through mm -hmm. yes so it was a what do we say sweet uh, god there is a saying now i can't remember it but you just take me back to what I went through and I was happy that I was there. So did you have both of us natural? Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Both natural birth, yeah. Yeah, I had my my two as well. Yeah. And I gave birth to you, it was heavily raining. And, and then you gave, gave birth, birth to my to son, son and it, it was, was heavily raining. raining. So yeah. yeah, it was it was uh, raining. Those memories just you know yeah get into me so anyways very similar um, yeah. 
um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for having me. And hopefully we'll see you soon and more videos to come, guys. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you for all the new subscribers that I have. Thank you, guys. Please, please keep subscribing, keep sharing my videos. Like, thumbs up, um, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.